Hello and welcome back to this free course showing you how to set up a newsletter business. I'm going to be combining two AI tools today. We're going to be combining the AI automation tools inside of Beehive along with a AI copywriting software that's going to do all the heavy lifting for us so we can set up full automations in just a couple of minutes. Why do you want this automation? Well, the first email anyone's gonna get from you is your welcome email. Think about it. If you are gonna send out your email every Thursday, or newsletter, I should say, every Thursday, somebody signs up on a Wednesday, they're not gonna hear from you for almost an entire week, and that's an issue. What we want to do is we want to enter them into a welcome sequence. So welcome email has the highest open rate and it has the highest conversion rate, meaning they'll download your freebie or buy from you. So we want to make sure that our welcome email is being sent out to our subscriber list. Now, if you go back in our training, you'll be able to see how I talk about the style of welcome email and what should be in it. But for today, I'm going to show you how you can use AI to write it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to this section here, which is right, and we're going to go to automations. What we're going to do then is we're going to go up here and we're going to create an automation. Now, this can look like it's quite complicated, and this is one of the things that we're able to build out for clients. If you want to follow through and have a go at this yourself, then I'm going to show you just like an overview of how to set up a basic automation. We will have a some free training coming out, more in-depth training on Beehive. So if you subscribe to the channel, then you'll be able to get that training. I'm not gonna go through all of this in detail because it would take quite a long time. But if this is something that you want some additional help and support with for your business, then go down into the description and you'll be able to find out how you can get that. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a new uh, automation and this is gonna be for our welcome sequence. So when somebody subscribes, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by adding a trigger. Now, what we can do, we've got these buttons down here. So at the moment, I can move everything around. If I click the uh, lock button down here, then that will change what's able to happen on the screen. So make sure that you're exploring all of these buttons. You can zoom in and zoom out, and then you can uh, click this button here so you can see everything that is on the screen. So for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit add trigger, and the trigger's gonna happen after the sign up. Now, at the moment, I don't want to activate this. I just want to leave it as it is. So this isn't activated, and I know that because this is orange at the top. If I hit activate, this will change color to black, and that lets me know that it's activated, and it will be uh, active within my subscriber list. So I don't wanna do that until I finish building the entire flow. So what I want to do, because this is my welcome series, is I want to, when somebody's signed up, I want to send them an email. This will be my welcome email. Now, I've got the option to wait a certain amount of time on this until this particular trigger is activated. And I'm going to go for waiting for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes after they have um, signed up and put their email address in, they will get the email from me welcome, welcoming them into uh, the newsletter. Now I could do a complete series of these. I could keep going and adding sort of two or three or four emails in my welcome sequence. I can also add a branch in as well if I want to, and I can add a deliberate wait. But like I said, we're not gonna go into those today. So what we can do is we can now go in and we can edit this message. If I click this, you'll be familiar with this particular interface because this is what we were using in order to be able to write our newsletter. So what I can do is I can go over here and I can put in my subject line and then my preview text as well. So there we go, I put those in. I'm able to preview as well if I want to see what's going on, but obviously there's nothing to preview because I haven't put anything in there. And I can test it out if I want to get it sent over to a test email account. But what we need to do is write our welcome email. Now, as I said previously, I do have a video in this training series, just go down to the uh, description, click on the playlist link and you'll be able to find that video and that will tell you exactly what should go into your welcome email and why. And it also shows you a couple of examples of great welcome uh, emails that you might want to model as well. But we need to write something and staring at a blank screen is quite daunting. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use AI and we're gonna use Hoppy Copy. Hoppy Copy is the tool that we've been using to build our newsletters. We've been using the newsletter creator. But what we're going to do now is we're going to write our welcome email. And Hoppy Copy has got loads and loads of different email tools 
to write different types of emails. And you can see they also do outreach, social posts and websites. So if you decide to get Hoppy Copy, the link to Hoppy Copy and Beehive will be in the description. Just click those links and you'll be able to get hold of those. As you can see, I put the word welcome in and here the welcome email comes up. I just click on this and then I'll be able to fill in these prompts and it will produce a welcome email for me that will go out to new subscribers. So I'm just going to fill this out and then you'll be able to see what Hoppy Copy produces. So as you can see, I've put in the name of the brand, product or service, target audience and what uh, will be covered. I haven't changed the suggested bits, so they want a product description, content, call to action, additional resources. You don't have to include all of these, you can take them out. I filled in the information after the uh, prompt and then I just need to uh, select a tone. So I'm going to go with friendly and then I can pick more or less output. So we're going to get a selection. All I do then is hit create and what Hobby Copy is going to do is it's going to take the information I put into the various prompts. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to write the welcome email for me now what we can also do as well is we can highlight different sections once it's been written we can rewrite we can continue so that will like add in an additional uh, paragraph shorten expand uh, add emojis tone and we can just edit everything within hoppy copy so as you can see we go down here we can see that we've got our welcome email written We've got dear name, then we've got the body of the email, and then we've got some subject lines suggested for us as well. We've got another one here where we've got it uh, put into sections. Um, and then we've got a third example down here. We've got the emoji at the top, which is quite nice. And then all this extra information. So what I can do is I can take one of these straight away and I could just go ahead and I could copy it and put it into Beehive or if I wanted to I can insert this into the document I might take a couple of these and then inside the document over here I could sort of merge them together but let's just imagine I like this one up here so I've gone ahead and copied it and then we just need to go over to Beehive and then you can see that I have just put that into the welcome email so I can just go ahead and I'm going to take this one here cut and paste that put that in as the subject line then I quite like this one here I'm not going to use it as a subject line though maybe I'll put it into the preview text and then I could just get rid of that bit I don't need any of that and then I've got the body of my welcome email written by AI all I need to do then is I can just go through and I can edit these particular sections. So for example, I might want to make this bit bold. I might want to make it a header. I might want to add in some uh, links somewhere. So I might have a reference down to sort of a YouTube channel or join us on Instagram, something like that. I might want to uh, add in an image. I could put that in there or maybe a numbered list if I want to add in some additional benefits. So there's lots and lots of things that you can do. I might want to add in a particular button, uh, a button that allows people to easily share from the welcome email, for example. So it's definitely worth going through and exploring exactly what Beehive can do when combined with Hoppy Copy in order to be able to produce a newsletter that you are happy with. So I've now got my welcome email, maybe that's what I'm happy with. Again, I can go ahead and I can preview it. So that's what my welcome email is now going to look like. I can go back in, make any changes, or if I want to, if I'm happy with it, then I can just go back and I can exit. So you can now see that that has been written. That's my welcome email done. Now in that welcome email, I might have teased what's going to happen in the next email. So I might want to put another one in. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait one day. So that's one day from the trigger. So this will be the following day. And again, I can just go in. I can edit this message and go back into Hoppy Copy. And I can go and I can write in. Uh, I'll go over to email and then I might be able to use the sequence creator in order to produce several uh, emails in a sequence that will welcome someone into my newsletter. 
So once I've done all of that and I'm happy with everything, so if I don't want that bit there, I can just hit uh, delete. But if I, once I'm happy, then all I need to do is go up here. I can activate the trigger and that will be my wel welcome series activated. What you might also be able to see as well is once you activate these different triggers, then what you're able to do is you're able to see exactly how many subscribers are at each step within your list and as well you'll be able to start seeing some of the data that's going on behind so we've got this performance part here and you'll be able to see the stats as well on your automation we we'll see how it is performing which means that if you want to test out different automation sequences then you'll be able to do that. So you can see I've got two separate uh, welcome sequences. So if I want to start testing out different ones, then I would be able to do that. But obviously that gets into a little bit more complicated and more detailed ability to use uh, Beehive. So that's everything we're going to cover in this video. If you want to see more of the AI tools, then you should be able to see a card that's just popped up on the screen now where you can see our AI tools video that talks you through some different options when thinking about setting up a newsletter what we're going to do next is we're going to start thinking about marketing and growth of your newsletter so consider subscribing if you haven't done already and we'll see you in the next one